Hey, do you want to turn your Wii U into the ultimate home gaming console? By just following my guide, you can have the capabilities of your Wii U expanded by miles in just minutes. So let's get right into it. This website is by a fellow YouTuber, Blaine Locklair. He took the time to put together an all-in-one modding package for the Wii U. I highly recommend you check out his channel and you can find a link in the description. Once you're here, scroll down and click the download button. Once the download is done, drag it onto your home screen. Next, double click the file to open it up and extract the contents of the folder onto your home screen. Now you'll see you have two new icons, a file called Wii U and a program called GUI Format. Next, insert your SD card into your computer's SD slot. Now open File Explorer and make note of your SD card's assigned letter. For example, mine is drive G. Next we'll format the SD card. Go ahead and open GUI Format. Make sure your drive letter is selected up top, then click Start. After that's done, you can either keep GUI format or toss it. That's up to you, but it's an incredibly useful tool for console modding, so I do recommend you keep it. Next, pull up your SD card. There you can drag and drop that Wii U file right onto the root of the card. That's all for the computer side of things. You can now insert your SD card into the Wii U and turn it on. Once you're ready, start up the web browser and from the Wii U's gamepad type in this web address. Once the website is loaded, click Run Exploit and then immediately hold B until this screen shows up. Press down and then A to select NAND Dump, then press A to select the first option. This will bring you to the NAND Dumper progress bar. Once the backup is completed, you will get brought back to the home screen. Open the web browser and type the same address just like before. This time, when you tap Run Exploit, immediately hold X until you see this screen. From the environment loader, press A over Aroma and then press X on the warning screen to block updates. From the boot selector, press A on Wii menu. This will take you back to the home screen. You'll notice a new application on your home screen called Payload Loader. Select that to start it. From here, press A over Check. Press A over Install slash Update. Press down and then A over install. Once the process is done, press A to shut down your Wii. Once your console is turned back on, from the home screen, navigate to the health and safety app and start it. Launch Aroma again by pressing A on it. Press A on Wii menu. Once back on the home screen, you'll want to start payload loader again. Press A over check. Press down and A to select boot options. Now, just press A over the first option, and then once done, press A to turn off the console. Once you turn your system on, you will be brought back to the now familiar environment loader. Now, press Y on Aroma. Once it's yellow, you can select it with A. Press Y over Wii U menu. Once highlighted in yellow, select it with A. Once it brings you back to the home screen, congratulations, you now have a modded Wii U. Well, there you go. Just like that, you now have a modded Wii U. In the coming weeks, I'll have some videos on the same topic, so stay tuned to learn all there is to know about your modded Wii U. I mentioned Blaine Locklear's channel earlier. I highly recommend you guys check out his channel, as he's a big inspiration of mine and he deserves all the love. With that being said, see you next time.